Okay. Hello. Um, I saw a video. Somebody tried. <laughs> it's one of these videos where they act like they're making a speaker, yet it's obviously not going to work. Um, they had got a clean Xbox foil, a motor and a battery. Um, of course the motor did run off the battery's electricity and it made a sound but there's no way just plugging the little audio jack from the iPod into the Kleenex box where it's contacts obviously aren't going to touch any electrical contacts it's not going to work I'm sorry but electrical motors can play music if fed enough power the output from a, an iPod or a Walkman or anything like that made to just drive headphones isn't enough power to drive an electrical motor. But if you have a good powerful amplifier, you can run an electric motor to produce music. Here I have attempted to put two uh, toothpicks and tape them to the shaft of a motor that's hooked up to an amplifier that's about 3.5 watts. The more power, the better. I would not recommend hooking your motor up to any high-end piece of audio equipment just in case anything might blow in the amplifier because it might not be the best idea to be running a motor from something like that but this amplifier is not having any problem but for our own safety use stuff that's not that bad to blow. Here I'll have an ordinary cassette recorder play music into the amp and it will drive the motor how it is right now. Now watch when I watch this when I first turn on the amp. See it twitch? That's when the power first is applied. Turn on the recorder. Due to a lot of bass in the music it makes the thing move violently. You get the Kleenex box and we kind of lay it on top of that. Press the toothpick against it as well. Enjoyed it so far? I hope this turns out good. Go ahead and get the aluminum foil and put it on top of the Kleenex box. You know, over that opening as a diaphragm. Use ordinary scotch tape to hold it in place. And just Now this is not going to sound good. I have any chapstick up here but let's go ahead and kind of indent. You can see that's where that um, opening is. Now that Kleenex box I found had this part broken apart, but that will be useful because we can um, work inside there. We use a couple of these clip leads to make managing the motor easier as the amplifier's wires aren't very long. Be sure not to let the wires short out and put the metal to metal ends on the motor. Keep this in mind, the lower voltage motor used <coughs> The lower voltage motor used, the better, um, the, the more powerful it will be. Att attempt to tape the motor in around this area. I've done a horrible job of taping in the motor itself. Now let's get to the tips. The little, what a, sticks. Wooden sticks. Keep in mind the real annoyance it takes while you try to do it. Um, it's very easy also. The tape does not want to hold on to the shaft gear. But anyway, there is the tape toothpick there. The other toothpick will be taped to the foil to move the diaphragm. <laughs> We're doing it again because things came off. Finally, um, I've got that on there. Hopefully it'll work. I've got the diaphragm taped to the angled, the angled tip, and i got the other tip taped to the box. I'm sorry, I, I can't remember what these things are called a lot of times. Tips. 
teeth pick. Now we got it together more or less looking like it was in that one video. We can put it to the test and see if it does anything. When we do this we'll probably want to start at a low volume because the tape will probably fly off off some part one way or another. There's the top the diaphragm. Start up the recorder. I can hear it play. That's a pretty good bass. Amazing. It's actually working. The diaphragm is vibrating. Just a little bit. You can probably notice it run there. See that? Now if we open it up, let's see if we can see the mechanism operate. See if everything's working on it. Wait, it's hard to get it angled when you see the other thing on the TV. It's the other, the one that's being held down to the cardboard is just there kind of to keep it from going haywire, yet it still allows the other one to move the diaphragm to be able to hopefully help amplify the sound coming from the motor. Neat, isn't it? So that's after seeing another one of those little prank videos where you act like you build something, to, and then, but it, but it's so obviously not going to work. This is something where you build something and it actually works. Pushing it on in different ways will change the sound. Well, do you see this little mic I have right here? I've got a little microphone right here, you know? Okay. And what I'm going to be doing now is, before I go, I want to put the mic inside the box of that speaker so you can hear it better and what it sounds like from an inside perspective. The microphone is going to be put right in here, facing where the diaphragm is on the inside of the box, and then I'll close it back up. watching the video of this fascinating contraption actually if I have not watched the prank video of making a speaker 
however they did it there, um, which obviously wouldn't work. I hope you enjoyed the one. I hope uh, it actually inspired me to do this. So, hope you enjoyed the video.